Okay, we're back. We're gonna try this. We're just gonna play it in 1080. Uh, 1080 window because it does not like 1440 on this monitor. Be a boy. It's a boy. Rolled. Boy, we've got a son, Catherine. Rolled a boy. Beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, James. What's up? We did it. A son. There's rice. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Oh no, we need a name. That's a good name, don't you think? What is going on here? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Can I randomize this? No. Forty seven. Is this just none? Smiles. I think it's a full beard, isn't it? You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you? Uh, you we gotta roll these. Oh, just James? Catherine. James. Catherine. She's in Some cardiac things. arrest. Start compression. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? You. We need a doctor, not a dead man. This one's on the house. Fail to meet my expectations. Now and look be straight into the light, pal. James and his cheerly chatter. Decorations. Your future's in bright colors. This place will feel just like home. Come her. on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. Look over. 
just a little further. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be Fine. okay, pal. Hmm. I'll be back in a bit. Bitch. I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna roll this. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. All right, we rolled the Bible. basically perception six. and I am Alpha and Omega. And the beginning and the end. I will give unto no. him that is a thirst of the four luck of the water of life. And for really. agility is our lowest skills. That. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. <laughs> As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once, so have fun. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I would Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I gotta I'm figure out what kind decorations of and stuff. If we're gonna be a hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your character. birthday. Go on, guess. Okay, okay. One last question. Yeah, I found. I guess I better let you get back to mingling. I wish I was ten. Hey, you having a nice time? Happy birthday, Sonny. Enjoying yourself? Attention, everyone. It's time to talk. Yeah, get the hell out of my way, bruh. Are you having a nice party? Goodness. I'm rolling on these. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Here you go. A nice. Andy, wait. Are you having a nice Nice pick boy. What is that? One of the 3000 A models? What? This party's pretty good. Not as cool as my. Hey, happy oh, birthday, no. Rose Queen! <laughs> Allow me to wish you a happy. Birthday. All right, we're gonna we're gonna roll. You a piece of cake. What kind of character? I'm doing a three. Going, One's good, two's neutral, three's evil. We're an evil character. Wow, the pit boy really. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot. Give me that sweet. Ugh, I don't want your nerd cooties. You're gonna be sorry you did that. We'll see how tough you are later when the grown up really makes you look all grown up. Here's what we rolled. These scales, son. Come on, Wally. 
Wally. You always have good ideas. Yeah, I got Daddy, one. I told the... How do you like that, Pip Boy, son? Don't you listen to him. The A series may be a bit heavier than the luxury models, but they were built to last. Solid. Cell shouldn't need to open her up Super again cool, for a decade or I know you were joking, but I'm not sure. No, I'm sure, there. most people don't give a thought to their pip. Well, anyway, I got this for your birthday. It isn't much, and you probably. Nonsense. Jeez, Molly, people that always the enjoy you my little. No way! Besides, that friend of yours could use a reminder that life is not all fun and games. Ugh! This is awful. But she's such an idiot. I know. He thinks he's so. Look, Butch. I don't think his PR like is strong enough. I don't know. Maybe. Shut up and let me Sammy. think a minute. I know you were busy with the water oh, purifier. If that's Everything's what you fine. I hope. Jonas. Oh, sure, nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good as new. Thanks. I'll send her right down. I wasn't worried. You can fix anything, right? You're gonna be really sorry you anyway, messed with me, Paul. Why are you still hanging around? Hey, uh, thanks. I know that, uh, but should I give... Anyway, uh, happy... What, are you two best friends? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. Jonas is waiting for you down... Now? Hey, Wally! How are I you enjoying Paul's the party, Mrs. Thomas? Thomas? I help with yeah, the decorations, you know. Yeah, Butch and Waller are getting popped. Oh, really? They're what do you lovely. mean, gold face? Happy birthday, dearie. You want my present now? Oh, boys, we'll be... Well, let's not keep you with... A poem? You gotta be kidding no, me. No, really. I'd never just copy one of my old... But you deserve... Dear, you did such a splendid job. <laughs> Shut up, Beatrice. I wonder if I could shoot my dad with the BB gun. Spoilers! What are you doing down here, young? Can it, Jonas? Where's my surprise? Oh, I see. Now that you're 10, you're. Happy birthday, bud. Your dad is waiting to give you your present. Or should we? Are you ready for your surprise? I don't like surprises. Since when? Your own BB gun. Jonah, you know how tough it is to f So, what do you th What do I get to kill? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not. We just keep it. Son, I brought you into this world. I think you know the rest. Hey, shoot at the targets, okay? That's not a toy. I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna find out if we can kill him. How do I go? How do I advance? Careful with that, sport. Whoa, that thing. Ow. Whoa, that thing. Careful with that, sport. Whoa, that thing. Ow. Oh, that's a thing. Which the game. Whoa, that sting. Careful with that, sport. Ow. Well, what do you think? I'm sorry you feel that way. Maybe you haven't grown up as much. Bradbroach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less Radroach. Let's get a picture to Hey Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. 
Jonas should be dead. Smile. Oh, V's for that. Different pop. Ping! Right. Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like I get any kind of special Don't. treatment. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning oh. and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your goat exam. Go on now. You've got a goat. No, you are not. Really. When I started studying medicine, one you'll do fine. And most Take care, son. <coughs> I'm a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Jonas can take a look at me soon. Morning, Jonas. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. I can show you a real tunnel snake. Hey, look. It's Smart Mouth. Did you know, due to the threats of radiation... None of your business, kid. If you mess with the tunnel snake... ...will not be habitable again, for at least... I remember my speeches. And who are you? Keep talking like You've got to be kidding. Come on, talk. Butch, Over here. stop it. Leave him Butch. alone. Oh, <sighs> tough guy, huh? Oh, this isn't solving anything. Hit him anything. again. I got another one just Ooh. like that in my other hand. This Hit him isn't again. Solving anything. Teach you to mess with the uh -huh. tunnel snakes. Come on. This isn't solving Give anything. Give him another. To mess Please, with the tunnel snakes. Stop uh, fighting. Give him another one. Stop it. Oh. <clears throat> Please uh, stop. Yeah. Get him, guys. Ooh. Good morning. Come on, careful with that man. This little class, bitch isn't eh? worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. You'll Let's get go. yours eventually, Spaz. I'll remember that. You'll get yours eventually, You'll get yours Spaz. Eventually. Get yours eventually. Come on, bitch. Uh, uh, big talking now, is. bitch. Oh, it's gonna be much. fun paying you. Our Peter's on the fritz again. You're kidding me. Didn't you just get. Well, you made it. All <laughs> set for the goat? Listen, I like you, Dad. So here's what I'm going to do. Well, all right. Order Medicine Small Guns. Let's not keep the overseer waiting. What seems to be the problem? Selfish and insubordinate. Just wake up. You need Come to on, know wake up. Things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on, you've got to wake up. Leave me alone. No, you've got to get up right now. If my father's men catch you. Well, you better start being afraid. I just watched them. Now, shut up and listen to me. It all started with your dad. He's escaped from the vault some. Jonas must have helped him escape, and they think you're part of it. And Wait. Fair enough, I'm gonna make him pay. Don't be an idiot! What are you gonna do, fight the whole security force by yourself? No, I've thought about it. There's only one way. You have to follow your dad. You. I don't need help from anyone, especially not from the overseer's daughter. Fine, be that way. Good luck with the whole vault and lockdown, rad roaches everywhere, and. I'm sure you'll have no trouble. 
Dad didn't need your help, and neither do I. Fine, I can't. There he is, hold it right there. Try any more roaches. I see my stats again. Alright, we're not, we're kind of a brute character. We're not really a sneaking character, so sneaking. You, you gotta help me! My mom's trying! Fuck off. Please, but you can't walk. Okay. Oh my God, you're right. I can hear the little scratchy feet come. Reactor. Is there? A can I sprint? L shift. I can. Son, I oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. I don't know what. As far as I'm concerned, you're murdered just like the rest of them. Now, come on, that's not fair. I wasn't even there. I had some words with the overseer when. 
but, but they all went crazy when they realized what your dad... Good gravy. If it was anybody but your dad, I'd have... But not him. If he opened that door, he must have had his reasons. You know. Damn it, more roads! Like that! I'm gonna have to get used to this. Your dad always took me and Andy were in a tight spot there. Ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. Just hold still. Your left stabilizer's been knocked loose. I am holding still. It's your old pulsing hands that are shaking. If you keep turning like that, I'm gonna crack your casing. Don't blame me for your incompetence. My I remember George. This is the overseer. Go back to our quarters. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the dog. I'm to not going to let anyone stop yeah, us. You know how he gets. It's me. Tom, be careful. Tom, Tom, I'm good at small rounds, right? Back for more. <laughs> Shoot. more where that came from. Not quite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a serial killer. I told you, I don't know anything. Be reasonable, Amato. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I... Gotcha now. Stop uh. with the name of the overseer. Ooh. 
Come on, Mac. from me I can't talk to you right now oh. hold on Jonas I need to record this first I I don't really know how to tell you this I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. That didn't tell me anything. He's opening the vault door. We keep this door open now. Oh my god. He actually opened it. You're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! I enjoyed killing him. I get out of my way. Gladly. The only reason I'm not calling the guards is out of respect for your dad. I don't want him to lose the only family he has left. You'd better get out of here before I change my mind. Stop in the name of the Overseer! distribute this I'm half of them go to the main skills of three three so we'll do three each so one two three one, two, three and then I'll distribute the others like this Let's 
swift learner. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. The quiet type, huh? Fine. You don't scare me. You got something you Fucking psycho wastelanders. I'm looking for my father, middle aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this. Let's discuss this bomb. What about it? One day that thing's gonna go off. You're living on borrowed time. Maybe. Maybe. So long as you stay away from the bomb, I see my chances of a long life improving. I hope we understand each other. If the bomb ever explodes, it'll be doing the world a favor. Oh, really? You may not think much of this town, but you're a guest in my home, and I... I hope I've made... I could use some directions. Sure thing, part. Clinic? Our clinic is down in the crater. Is there a barn town? Sure is. Moriorities. Just be careful. Moriority is not... Anything about the area it's outside? called the wasteland for a reason, but there are settlements too spread all around. To the south, you've got Rivet City, but don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. <sighs> Mind? Yeah. Good to see you. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton. Straight to your heart. What is it? The man oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Looking for my father. Are you fucking Whatever your problem is, I suggest you get over it now. You're joking, right? I mean... Come back when you got some fight in you. Until you don't look like you belong here. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. You ever consider getting back out there? What? Back out where? On the waste, man. You must be bored of tears. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing. Sounds fun, doesn't it? You know, I do miss it sometimes. But come on, I'm a wa- 
You come with me. I can use a hand. No offense, kid. Now I've heard about you. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some. Come back. Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John Henry Eaton. And I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. That's secure for we our... live in an age of poverty, greed, violence, destruction. Indeed, the very seat of the federal government, Washington, D.C., has been reduced to what is now known as the Capital Wasteland. The Capital Wasteland. How did it come to this, America? How did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth to die? The answer is really quite simple. Incompetence. Incompetence at the highest echelons of power. We put our trust, our faith, in half-wits. Our intrepid leader had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, honesty. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eaton builds a country, he builds it to last. The American way. Don't you, my darling America, deserve that? Don't you deserve a future free of war? I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go, if you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. Follow my rules. Where to put my father? Boy, are you bothering me? Try not. A place. Yes, that's law. Yes, I can see you lying. Around the clock to return that this doesn't belong to, to you. All you need is a little I'm trying to lower my karma. A little faith. Till we meet again, Found this you. is John Henry Heath ah. signing off. Ah. 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 Oh. I'm out of here. I'm Doc Church, and I run the. You, my darling America, deserve that. Don't you deserve Try to be careful. Free of war and yes, fear that's locked. and terrible. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Of course you do. That doesn't belong Mr. to you. President. For Christ's sake, you don't you look sick, and you sure as hell. That I will never yeah. rest. Never rest. But we have what we deserve. A place. Good so remember, America. John Clave is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need is a little patience, a little faith. Till we meet again, this is Good John to see Henry you. Eden signing. Even off. those who are not dedicated children of Adam may bask in his glow. I don't think there's more artists.
B.E. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry E. Straight to your heart. Everybody likes a compliment. Nucleus. Bring about the division. Yes, my brother. Who have we here? I Many of the transient visitors, I suggest you speak news. My of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed. Remember that man? I saw him talking to Moria. Enough with the tough check routine. Tell me more. Oh, you like it rough, huh? Well, beat it, kid. Go look for. To return this country to greatness. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? Ah, oh, fuck. What are you? I see how it is. Looking for my father. Even if I knew I would. Where did you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to... If you ever get to Underworld... Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It... I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog. Swear to I time. couldn't tell you, really. I talk to Manya if you care that much. Don't it? Hello. 
Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I... Thank you for my father. Oh my God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came. in heaven would you listen to yourself your father brought you to the vault right after you were born to keep you safe you see i remember it well you stayed in that's right your father his brotherhood of steel friend and you but no matter that big round door is open now hasn't it dad oh was not born in the vault that's complete bullshit no Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down. All hail the overseer. We're born in the... Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. You catch on quick, kid. That's the way of it out here, for sure. Seems a f Guilty? Tell you what, kid. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information... So you want me to do your dirty work? Who said anything about dirty work? This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jack and Psycho to me for... Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale, so... Get the cap she owes me, and they're yours. What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me like... I keep these yokels need. And now, one uh, of my little bit of caps for rational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry E. Straight to your heart. We can afford all we need, but we cannot afford all we want. Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eden. I'd like to have a chat. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. You're looking for the mayor? Before the we city. were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball. That's good deal, Lucy. Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look well wander no more, my good friend. <coughs> Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? Thanks. Recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country will live again. We've got a part now, you and I. But don't be sad, America. The Enclave is working tirelessly to rebuild this great nation. So you don't have to. Until we meet again, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off.
Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? He says, hand over he says, you're caps. That bastard. He's a... Oh. I don't care. I'm just here with the caps. Is there something wrong with your hearing? I... I don't deal with junkies. Hand over all your caps. Though. You're not getting a damn thing from... Uh -huh. Oh! Oh, the revolver! Still not low enough. I'm President John Henry Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. Hey Al, is it clean up there? Are you? Dang on me. Ah, look at this. New blood. Tell me. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot. Hello again, America. Why do you support the Enclave? Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old U.S. And even if you were born in some underground... And it's your... I couldn't possibly care less about government's presence. Well, we can't all care. Besides, why should we have to? That's what... Who the Enclave, anyway? They're the American government! The Eagle! People comma we the, the more perfect union. You ever see the how you, how you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. They got flying robots all around. You'll see. Happy, truly carefree. 
Well, we both know the answer, don't we? Not. America's children live in a terrifying, meaningless existence. There is no room. And back no he comes. Happiness. So? That changes right here, right now. From this moment Took care on, so good. I hope she got... You took care of our lit. How about you just? Wait a second. I have silver for you, and you still want me to pay? It's called economics, kid. You got something I want, and I got. I told you the favor would her. Yeah, yeah, here, take hundred caps. I'll choke on it. How can you be so rude when I'm? Your dad came through here, all right. Didn't stay long. <laughs> Said he had some important business to attend to, and headed off to the city. Or something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting, and thanks for the caps. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yet. But I suppose if you. Good to see you. I think it's this store over here. Nathan, if you don't shut your bitch ass up. Greetings, dearest America. This is your president, John Henry Eaton. Let's chat, shall we? Did you know there are those amongst us who would shatter our hopes for peace, order, and security? These radical malcontents don't care about you. They don't care. I don't recognize you. All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone the Raiders. Those anarchistic ruffians who job usually means I get paid. Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you so Nope, sorry. All right. You still up for that job? I sure. Well, great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I have... As... Sure. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor... If this... Good to see you. So, what is it now? What is this, twin? And what about oh, just the like him. Of paradise falls. The frighteningly irradiating ghouls of I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. And last but not least, the hideously mutated super. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Good to meet you. Say, I'm... You get the bolts back there. I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw. And those who oppose us will be. If you say so, but if you really mean that, you might want to stop wearing a suit. With anyway, I guess I don't need a forward. They just. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? For that, I need to. No, then they just yell a lot. Tell me more about the pay. Oh, uh, caps with a little in. 
Okay, I guess I can help. All right then. Things like where. Ooh, it sounds like. Getting food in the sun, well. man. Yeah, I'll check the oh, great. Don't try anything. Hey there. Yes, that's locked. Now I know I've never. We get. I ain't heard much, truth be told. You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave. President of America. President of your heart. Welcome. Well, goddamn. Who's in charge right well, now? Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas. What do you do for fun right <laughs> now? Well, there's this and that. Let's work around town. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread. That's all I need to know. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your is president, there... John <laughs> Henry E. Straight to your heart. This generation of Americans has a rendezvous with destiny. Hello again, America the Magnificent. This is President Eaton, and I was hoping. No screaming, please. We could talk. It's time. Living. Don't worry about Easton. Easton, no running around, please. Rather important. The issue at hand is. Been raised, I know. Hey, go get him a tablet Just and then sit and watch something. To this most this a different okay. Ah, fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my... The type of safety that can only... Of course I was elected. Sweet America. See the... Please, enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. Not one of these. Any rifle? Laser pistol? No sir, Pleasure doing business with you. Our collective values fall into the future. Democracy, dear America. Democracy now and for We get a get a charger. We've got a part now, you and I. But don't be sad, America. The Enclave is working tirelessly to rebuild this great nation. So you don't have to. Until we meet again. This is President Eden signing off. Hey, be nice, Ellie.
Hello again, America. This is John Henry Eden, your president. Okay. There are some things we should talk about. I think all right. Right. Let's talk about government, shall we? Or more specifically, your government, dear America. The Enclave. Just who is the Enclave? Why, now that's simple. The Enclave is you, America. The Enclave is your sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your neighbor. Well, yes, the Enclave is me as well. <laughs> as your president, it is my responsibility to preside over our great democracy. So, as your president, I am the voice and soul of the Enclave. That is to say, I am the voice and soul of America. But only together, together, can we hope to reach our full potential, the way we were before the war. Whole, beautiful, powerful. One enclave, one America. Now. Stop. Forever. Hey, those cups so need remember, those drinks need to be poured out and thrown away, please. Is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need. Is a little patience, a little faith. Till we meet again, this is John Henry Eden signing off. This game just crashed. Okay, I told you to sit down and watch your watch a tablet. Go clean. Get up. Why is it, like, I can't even... I can't even kill that. What the hell? Thank you. 
Do your thing for your dash. Um, what is going on? My friends, the question has been raised, I know, as to just how I came to be elected. Clean without screaming. To this most illustrious office. Welcome. Or whether or not I had been elected at all. To that I must answer, of course. Of course I was elected, sweet America. Course. Isn't the right to vote the very foundation of a democracy? Not at liberty to discuss the details of the election. You understand. But rest assured, I am your president. Because the game the didn't even crash, which would have been actually nice. It just froze. I am your duly elected representative. Of course, when the time comes, when my term is up. America will be free to elect a new president. And that person will have our full faith and confidence and carry our collective values forward into the future. Democracy, dear America. This... Democracy now and, repair. and forever. We've got a part now, you and I. But don't be sad, America. The Enclave is working tirelessly to rebuild this great nation so you don't have to On mommy's desk upstairs. Or underneath it. Oh, okay. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Oh, wait. Oh, 
There we go. Sweet America. Hello again. This is President Eaton. I'd like to have a chat. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine. Perfect, cloudless day. Garage in the sun is warm cool and welcoming. Okay, cut this. On the horizon. Oh! Right. This. Nights of yore, armed with bats of ash. And then, the capital Congress. You hear America revel in the joys of sport and sunshine. If only for an afternoon. Now, ask yourself this. What if the Capitol congressmen could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? Put your faith in John Henry Eden, Great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, yeah. all will live again. This country will live again. So remember, America, John Clave is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need is a little patience, a little faith. Until we meet again, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. Eat it! Oh! Oh! Underneath the, the sink upstairs. I'm John Henry Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of the world, the voice of this cruel, unreasonable world. Hey.
Just like your dear old dad, you value your time and you want to get just five points to both the sides. Kentucky. I can't hit I had the phone. best friend a boy could hope for. My dear old dog, Honey. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the adventures we had. From Nod Creek to Hoganville, we roamed. Carefree and courageous. Irresponsible. And completely inseparable. It was, for a little boy, a perfect existence. So, let me uh, this is oh. How many of your children can say the same? How many of this nation's youth are truly happy, truly carefree? Well, we both know the answer, don't we? None. America's children live in a terrifying, meaningless existence. There is no hope, no happiness. Oh, it can. That changes right here, right now. Oops. From this moment onward, the children of this great nation are its highest priority. The Enclave will restore every American school, reinstate every youth program, and offer counseling and financial assistance to any family in need. We will match up the destined orphan children of the capital wasteland with qualified eligible adults <laughs> we will rebuild the America as, it was, as it was meant to be values of our past shall be the foundation Where'd she go? I don't think I put that. Listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave, President of America, President of your heart. Greetings, dearest America. This is your President, John Henry Eden. Let's chat, shall we? Let's talk about government, shall we? Or more specifically, your government, dear America, the Enclave. Just who is the Enclave? Why now? That simple. The Enclave is you, America. The Enclave is your sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your neighbor. And, yes, 
My beautiful America, this is President Eden, and it's time we had a talk. It's time we discuss something rather important. The issue at hand is, well, my presidency. The question has been raised, I know, as to just how I came to be elected to this most illustrious office. Mm. Or whether or not I had been elected at all. To that I must answer, of course. Of course I was elected, sweet America. Of course. Isn't the right to vote the very foundation of a democracy? Fortunately, in the interest of national security, I'm not at liberty oh, to discuss the details of the election. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> But I, doubt, I am your president. As the appropriate people of this great nation decided I should be. I am your duty. When the time comes, when the time comes up, America will be free to elect a new president. And that person will have our full faith and confidence and carry our collective values forward. Into the future. Oh. Democracy, dear America. Democracy, now and forever. But for now, my America, we must part. Restoring ah. the greatest country in the world to its former glory. Well, well, well that takes time. Even for the ugly. Till we meet again, this is John Henry Eden signing off. Goofy. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton. 
straight to your heart. No evil can result from its inhibition more pernicious than its toleration. Ooh. I thought the rods were heavier, didn't they? You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave, President of America, President of your heart. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, there you go. Now known as the Capital Wasteland. The 
capital wasteland. How did it come to this, America? How did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth to die? The answer is really quite simple. Is that coyote? Incompetence. Incompetence at the <laughs> highest echelons of power. We brought trust in God. Off me. Our intrepid leaders had everything they wanted. Power, was, wealth, prestige. He was going to kill me. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eaton builds a country, he builds it to last. The American. Don't you, my darling America, deserve that? Don't you deserve a future free of war and fear and mm -hmm. uncertainty? Of course you do. As President of the United States, you have my solemn pledge that I will on the bridge? never rest, never rest, until we have what we deserve, a place Got apart now, you and I. But don't be sad, America. The Enclave is working tirelessly to rebuild this great nation. You don't have to. Until next time, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus. The shop of sl now. I scour the wasteland for the very... And I always make sure to make my rounds. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry E. Straight to your heart. The people under us... Give me a shout if you need anything else. See you out on the road, huh? Ooh. I don't even know what I'm... What am I doing up here? Delivering a message. You're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they... Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? What you think I was? I thought you were one of the family. They're some low-life gangers who've been giving us a hell of a lot of trouble lately. Hello again. They're the reason for my itchy trigger finger. Are we raiders or slavers? No way. If they were, you'd be staring at a burned out ghost town. I think the family are just a bunch of punks. Well, at first, they do typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know? What, are you some kind of wimp? Look, pal, if you think I'm gonna get my ass shot off playing the hero, you're dead wrong. If I know they're coming, I lock myself inside like everyone else. We're really in a bad way and could use some help. Help cost caps. Do I look like I just stepped out of Tenpenny Tower? I barely have a pot to piss in. Sounds like you're pretty screwed. Fine. That's what I've come to expect. Why don't you just get out of our right here, right now? You again. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. Can you do me a favor and check on the other? Speak with I can't take that. You're just going to counseling and financial assistance to any family in 
I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's eligible adults. We will rebuild the American family as it was, as it was meant to be. Values of our past shall be the foundation of our future. We've got a part now, you and I, but don't be sad, America. The Enclave is working tirelessly to rebuild this great nation. You don't have to. Until we meet again, this is President Eden signing off. Yes. Oh, he did? Well, it's a... Come on in. I'll... It's nice to see a friendly new... The name's Karen Shenzi. Did you know the Wests are dead? What? Oh, my God. King has to do something about this now. Tell him... All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw... If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about... Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem... He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay in... It tells them... We're scared shitless. Evan King's got... That asshole run... Mailman. Please. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Well, now, pal, before I put a hole in Look, your chest. Pal, there is no way you're going to get to me or my wife. How's your problem? Do you understand English? You must be exhausted. Braley Ewers is the sure, Western dead. dead tired, I bet, from the square dance in the barn last night. Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make... What's been going on? Oh, my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous... It's... Wow, you bet she didn't well, say now, no what? there's... I have a pie cooling on the windows. Look, I want to be left. Son of a. Maybe it's time I cut my losses and bring. They're low light. What did they tell you? The family must have gotten to them in the last... Damn it! If only we had more men we could stand up to... Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already.
I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to eat. Bite marks on their necks. That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. Oh, this is all I needed right now. There used to be more families living here. Those that are still living here are... Let's give to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton, straight to your heart. America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we falter and lose our freedoms, it will be because we destroyed ourselves. Sweet hey, America, who are you? The king of the wasteland, what does it matter? You can let me in or not? Easy there, pal. I'm just doing my job. What do you want? Do you harass all your visitors like this? But you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants attacked recently and, and carried off some of our friends. Come in. Your sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your neighbor. And well, yes, the enclave is me as well. They're out there. I can feel it. What, you? I gave you the welcoming speech. I want a new opening speech, one that not acknowledge me, acknowledges me as the king. Don't think you'll scare anyone here. You could shoot down everyone in town and I wouldn't flinch. You live in big town, you learn to accept death. Oh, that's so fun. I prefer my victims energetic and agony big talk killer why don't you leave and let me watch out for people less discriminate what did you people get here small tired dots on the horizon instead of angry anxious ones those are settlers who come here from lamplight the poor fools you're under constant there threat there was a super mutant attack recently and where there's one big ugly there are ten more just waiting to grab you by the throat then the slavers will come and pick off what's left of your carcass and drag any survivors to Paradise Falls. Where the super mutant come from? Skulk up toward Germantown, near the police station. They always come from that direction. Paradise Falls? Nearby. Slavers move quick and come from all directions. Someone else might know where they nest. There isn't anything here that hasn't been destroyed or dragged away. You have any traders in town, any doctors? There's nothing here but the stench of death and the threat of attack looming over. What are you on lookout for? Two very angry types of movements. Slow, lumbering, powerful movements. And Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John Henry Eaton. And I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. It's time we discuss something rather important. The issue at hand is... Hey! Well, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. Oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. It's pretty much a free-for-all, where you keep your good stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're a scary wasteland. Most of us have already accepted death, so you won't get much of a reaction with your threat. Not bad, kid. I'll let you live for now. Gee, thank. Not at liberty to discuss the details. 
We all used to live in a place called Little Lamp. Didn't matter, though, because you just pack your things and head to Big Town. All the adults go there. Plenty to eat, all right, if you like eating bullets. I've lost count of how many times I've been shot. What do you do about these what? super mutants? You've never seen a super mutant before? They came and rounded up a bunch of us and carried them off. I'd go rescue them, but then who'd defend Big Town? And I got a little present for those muties when they come back. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna rest. I'll make promises and I'll risk my life for free. Oh, okay, well, if you do find them, if it's not too much to ask. Look, the only place to go is the town hall, and that's just a meeting spot. Keep... Hi there, I'm Bittercup. Finally, someone who doesn't judge me. You know, the people here are just so quick to assume that they know everything about you. I mean, like, just because I'm different doesn't mean that I'm some sort of freak, you know? It's like, hello, this world sucks. No one gets that. They're all like, blah, 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 blah. What? God, it's so nice to have someone who understands. I mean, sure, when I left Little Lamplight, I was happy to be out of there. I was dating Pappy then, you know. I got here, and he was like, Big Town will be safe. But it wasn't. This place is always under attack. But I don't date liars. So I dumped his ass and got with Flash. But that didn't last very long. When this town haven't you dated? Don't you judge me. It's not my fault that the only guys in this... Oh! When I die, the last thing I want to worry about in my afterlife... Oh yeah? What is it? That's why I never go out during the day. The moon has such a better shine to it than the sun. Uh, see. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and lazy. Oh, um, well, I need to get going, but come back and visit. I will not make the mistakes of my previous. You came to visit. You'll never guess what I found out in the wastes when I was supposed to be patrolling. Here, this is for you. I wander around town to find chalk and makeup sometimes. There's a police station up. I wish it were. When I'm gone, I'll be sure to. If the mutant. Never rest. Never rest. Until we have what we deserve. Those assholes are A visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us, aren't you? Aren't you? Not that it matters. We're all super mutant. You came here with Bitter Cup, right? None of your. Most of us came from Little. Always heard stories. Will it? Welcome to Big Town. Not that there's much of a town. Whenever those. Things come, they grab a few people instead of killing them. There's, there's all. I'm so. T Red's Clinic.
What's our... Oh, I got high medicine. Oh, shit. Look at that. Damn. What? What happened? You had seven bullet wounds and broke both clavicles. Should be fine now. Wow. That's... You saved... It wasn't free. Doctor's fees are expensive, understand? Oh. Yeah, sure. I... We did? Wow. That's... You're she didn't, you know, Radio. do anything to me while I was out. I remember Whoa, that was a long time ago. What? Hey, Doc. I'm only sharing this with you because you seem like someone we can trust. Have you heard about the synthetic men they make up north in the Commonwealth? Well, the rumors are true. They're called androids. They're men like us, just made out of different parts. I know one of these androids. He's looking for a trustworthy doctor to perform some facial surgery. Can you do it? Do you know someone who can? Also, do you know anyone who's really a whiz with computers? This is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eden, straight to your heart. Arbitrary power is most easily established on the ruins of liberty, abused to licentiousness. I'm President John Henry Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio. Voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. God, life. That's funny. I actually went the wrong way. This is President Eden, and it's time we had a talk. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to, something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine a perfect, cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon, they appear like Yo. your arm with bats of ash and the air. Their name, the Capitol Congressman. Their purpose? Make you, dear America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine, if only for an afternoon. Now, ask yourself this. What if the Capitol Congressmen could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? 
Put your faith in John Henry Eden, great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country will live again. But for now, my America, we must part. Oh, no. Restoring the greatest country in the world to its former glory. Well, 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 that takes time, even for the Oakley. Till next time, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. You're back already? What do you have for me? Nothing, Evan. This is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. This is my look. Yep. No, I fight that either. Your homie. Thought hiding would save you. Where? Oh, he's dead. You like that? He this is Enclave Radio with your host, me, President John Henry. What do you need? Everything. And now, one of my inspiration quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton, straight to your heart. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Thank
Thanks. There we go. America's children live in a terrifying, meaningless existence. There is no hope, no happiness. We're actually going to go that back and try to get Jericho right here, after right I look now. From this moment onward, the children Hamilton's of this great nation hideaway. are its highest priority. The Enclave will restore every American school, reinstate every youth program, and offer counseling and financial assistance to any family in need. We will match up the destitute, orphan children of the Capital Wasteland with qualified, eligible adults. You want something? We will rebuild the American family as it was, as it was meant to be. The values of our past shall be the foundation of our future. Reflect upon all I have said, my America. Reflect and wait. For soon, this great nation will be reborn, and the Enclave will be its salvation. Until we meet again, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. Yeah. You want something? Yeah, I am. But I'm gonna... Well, what'd you get my hopes up for? Tell you what. The off... How much caps do I have? I need 500 caps. Hello? Listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave. You're still standing here, and I can't think why. President of your heart. Sweet oh, wait. Hello again. This is President Eden. You want something? I'd like to have a chat. Oh, it's you. Talk about government, shall we? Or more specific. Yeah. Enjoy. Dick. I am the voice. I am the heart. So, so what is it now? Of the enclave. That is to say, I am the voice, heart, and soul of America. But only together, together, can we hope I'm to reach to our full straight. potential. The way we were before the war. So, how's this?
she doesn't have enough money either. Good hunting. This is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. Oh. Oh. Never mind. I think I need schematics to make that stuff. I couldn't remember if there was crafting in this game.
military seat of the federal government, Washington, D.C., has been reduced to what is now known as the Capitol Wasteland. Oh. The Capitol uh. Uh. How did it come to this? How did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth to die? The answer is really quite simple. Oh shit! That scared the fuck out of me. Don't you, my darling America, deserve that? Don't you deserve a country free of war, fear, and terrible uncertainty? Inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton. Straight to your heart. Nations like individuals are punished for their transgression.
Did I not find that key? There's something this way. Hey. Welcome, welcome. You bear the look of one who is haunted, but I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. My caravan self. My trap. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Thanks. Was Stay. for a little boy right. the perfect Evening. existence. So almost have enough to buy Jericho. How many of your children can say the same? How many of this nation's youth are truly happy, truly carefree? Well, we both know the answer, don't we? America's children live in a terrifying, meaningless existence. There is no hope, no happiness. That changes right here, right now. From this moment onward, the children of this great nation are its highest priority. The Enclave will restore every American school, reinstate every youth program, and offer counseling and financial assistance to any family in need. We will match up the destitute orphan children of the Capital Wasteland with qualified, eligible adults. We will rebuild the American family as it was, as it was meant to be. Values of our past shall be the foundation of our future. <laughs> 
Get away from me, so Spoonstead. So remember, America. You're not... Not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? What secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you... Nothing's free in this world, Murphy. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't... It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me. Make it 30. Fine, anything to get what I need. Get away from me, smooth skin. I have not found the family. Do I have anything I could take that? Okay. Oh, what is? We gotta increase this by six. Oh no! Hold on a second. I forgot how good this game is. All right. This is top tier. Okay, so again, we need to increase this by six. Lockpick by or no, we need, only need to increase science, which is affected by intelligence. Only aid that can be in there. I'm gonna take a min. I'm gonna take a Selfish desires. Let's take a tally 
of these agitators, shall we? There are, of course, the raiders. Those anarchistic ruffians who roam the wastes, preying on any and all stealing, murdering. The so-called Brotherhood of Steel. Don't be fooled by their pseudo-nightly nonsense or supposed connections to the United States Army. These power-armored Boy Scouts are nothing more than common criminals oh, with access to some antiquated technology. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this country's most important military installation the we are. as their own personal clubhouse. And don't be fooled, America. Those who have left the Brotherhood of Steel, branded outcasts, are just really? as dangerous, even more so, being in exile. And what about the slavers of Paradise Falls? The frighteningly irradiated ghouls of Underworld. And last but not least, the hideously mutated super mutants that have completely overrun the entire downtown DC area. Lawlessness, terror, murder, they're all around us, I know. If it's speed? Not for long, sweet America. Not for long. Oh no. Conclave will restore peace, order, and prosperity. To this great nation. It's e and those who oppose us will be removed forever. But for now, my America, it's e we must huh. stop. Restoring the greatest country in the okay. world to its former glory. I already told her. <laughs> well, that takes time, even for the Uncle. Until we meet again, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. One, two, three, four. Well, it would be six if this was correct, so maybe it's... E-A-I-N-G? This <laughs> is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eden. I'd like to have a chat. Let's talk about government, shall we? Or more specifically, your government, dear America. The Enclave. Just who is the Enclave? Why, now that simple. The Enclave is you. I the Enclave is your yes. sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your neighbor. And well, yes. Enclave is me as well. <laughs> as your president, it is my responsibility to preside over our great democracy. So, as your president, I am the voice, I am the heart and soul of the Enclave. That is to say, I am the voice, heart, and soul of America. But only together. Together can we hope brute force to reach our full potential, the way we were before the war, whole, beautiful, powerful. One enclave, one America, now and forever. So remember, America, the enclave is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. Come on. All you need is a little patience.
Not worth. It's only 60. I still need more. Uh, honestly, this can get us close, and then we can get... Um, we can do a traitor. Did you bring me? Good. Moving, me. So, what did you bring? Still He's there. my assistant and my backup. Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good... If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. Yep. Let me tap something. 120. I'm President John Henry Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio. The voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable. God bless thee. So, how's this?
Good hunting. USA. Incompetence at the highest echelons of power. We put our trust, our faith, in half wits. Our intrepid leaders. So what's it going to be? Enjoy. He builds it to last. Every the American way. The Americans that. Where's Jericho? A future free of war, of fear, and terrible uncertainty. Of course you do. As President of the United States, you have my solemn pledge that I will never rest. Yeah. Never you want something? Yeah. <laughs> A place to true. Yeah, kid. What do you need? Sure. Give me whatever you got. Restoring the greatest country in the world to its former glory. Well, 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 that takes time. Even for the ugly. Until next time, this is President Kennedy. Signing off. Alliance with none should be our motto. Oh! Give me whatever you got. No happiness. That changes right here, right now. From this moment onward, the children of this great nation are its highest priority. The enclave yeah. will restore every American school, reinstate every youth program, and offer counseling and financial assistance to any family in the We will match up the destitute orphan children of the capital wasteland with qualified eligible adults 
We will rebuild the American family as it was, as it was meant to be. The values of our past shall be the foundation of our future. We've got a part now, you and I, but don't be sad. The Enclave is working tirelessly to rebuild this great nation, so you don't have to. <coughs> Until we meet Damn again, it. this is John Henry Eden signing off. What do you need? I can get your fix. Anything? A pleasure. Hey! Two minutes, kid! Two minutes! One of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton, straight to your heart. We can afford all we need, but we cannot afford all we want. I was going to stop after I looted that grocery store. We're actually gonna save here. We're gonna stop here. And see what's done. Um, we will play more later. Thank you for watching. Do all the things like, subscribe, hit the bell.